A 3.5 magnitude earthquake strikes Long Valley Caldera supervolcano yet again today. We're having daily earthquakes there. Let's take a look at this because we do have inflation there, deformation. It is inflating with magma. There's also a geothermal plant there. Let's take a look at the maps. The earthquake that we're talking about. Of course, I'm, I have not plotted the earthquakes that are lower than two and a half magnitude, but this is what we're talking about. This is the area of Long Valley Caldera. This is Mono Lake, Pumice Valley, and uh, Long Valley. All of this area is Long Valley, Mammoth Lakes, as you can see. Um, it's also very close to the area of Nevada, where we're having the recent earthquakes, the swarm here. And basically, it's the same area. Now, if we go to Long Valley Caldera, and this is our general map of it, Mono Lake. See where this ledger is here, the legend of the map, showing us the uh, various schematics. Well, this is where we have the Nevada quakes. Okay, this is the general area of Long Valley Caldera. Long Valley. Now, let's take a look at the shake map first. Okay, that's Mono Lake right there, as you can see. And if we extrapolate the lines, you can see that all of, all of this has been, has been shaking. The red is the fault lines. And um, so you can see the location of it. This is the San Andreas Fault, the longest fault in California. This is the Garlic Fault, the second largest fault. This is Ridgecrest around there, which is in the coastal volcanic field. That's a, this is Salt and Sea, which is another volcanic area and this is the Walker Lane fault system which is hundreds of faults put together Walker Lane fault system and that meets Ridgecrest right there and Walker Lane fault system that has most of the high threat volcanoes of California are right on that the Sierra Nevada range and also the uh, super volcano of Long Valley Caldera where we've seen a tremendous amount of earthquakes recently okay this is what we're talking about how, how big is that that's today's quake 3.2 in nevada hardly anybody lives out there the same thing with uh, long valley there's not that many people living out there now going to long valley as to what is going on there the large 17 by 32 kilometer long valley caldera East of central Sierra Nevada range, California, is the result of a giant explosive eruption that happened six, uh, 760,000 years ago and formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better study the monitored caldera, the USGS has established a Long Valley Observatory. Some background, the, after the Bishop Tuff eruption and the formation of the Long Valley Caldera 760,000 years ago, activity continued in the central part, forming a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest, but are chemically tectonically distinct from Long Valley magnetic system. Okay, this is a simplified map of the area. Long Valley caldera, Mono Lake and the Inyo craters volcanic chain. Okay. Normal seismicity activity within tiny earthquake continues to occur at the southern and western parts of Caldera, as well as under Mammoth Mountain. No signs of possible eruption in, in the near future. So we need all this is to this is a very old one. This is 2013 article. Now these are the nearby, these are the nearby Nevada volcanoes. There's more than nine. For example, Adobe Hills is not even listed on there. <laughs> okay, so is this nine here? Well, there's a lot more than nine or ten. So this is the area of Mono, that's Mono Lake right there. 
That's Mono Lake right there, as you can see. And um, the closest one that we have near Mono Lake is Aurora Bodhi and Adobe Hills. Okay, so um, lunar crater, lunar volcanic field zone, volcanoes occurring. Nevada contains numerous cinder cones and lava flows. Uh, and the whole area is basically volcanic. And we can go down to our, okay, this is it. Just across from that is the area of Nevada right there. All that is volcanic fields. The same thing with um, our area of Salt Lake City. We had the March 18, 5.7 magnitude quake. We still have um, earthquake swarms there. And here, the lava field of uh, Idaho, a 6.5 on March 31st. So they're close enough to, uh, I believe, they have the same magma uh, body under them, feeding the magma. There's uh, eight volcanoes south of there, of Salt Lake City, around this fault line right here. And there's nine volcanoes here in this area. And uh, this is Yellowstone right there, Yellowstone Lake. Let's pan in so you can see the lake. There's Yellowstone Lake right there. And that Z is Hebgen Lake right there. Panning out again. The magma body that we have comes from Baja California. Baja California. Right here. Comes up this way to the east. Feeds a, a, the um, Utah area. Feeds Yellowstone and comes back this way into Idaho. That's like an imaginary seven. That's magma under there. And the western part of that magma is under the San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault System. Again, that feeds, it feeds those volcanoes too. So this is our activity, our daily activity in the area of Long Valley Caldera. A lot of these Nevada quakes have shaken Long Valley Caldera supervolcano as well. And I'll leave links below for you. For this, all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you, and um, God bless you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.